What's up YouTube? Welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to present this in just a slightly different format. First, I want to show you the video that I recorded. It's my e-bike Idlewild bikepacking trip that I did most recently. I want you to watch the video as I designed it with very little commentary. And then at the end, I'm going to break down some of the scenes a little bit more and explain in more detail what was actually happening at that time. So let's get started. Sure? All right, well, don't get in front of me, dude. Thank goodness he's a friendly dog. That's all I can say. <laughs> First time in my life sleeping, well, I take that back. It's not the first time in my life sleeping out under the stars. First time in my life as an adult sleeping out underneath the stars. And uh, I really hope there's just no like ants, scorpions, spiders, all the desert creepy crawly things just leave me in this little square aura of don't touch. And we'll be fine. We can get through this. We'll see. Good night, guys. So that was the video. If you are happy with that, you can stop watching now, or if you're interested in some of the context that some of these scenes were based on, keep watching because I'm going to start breaking them down. So let's roll the video again, and I'll give you some commentary on what was happening at the time. This bikepacking trip began as a family weekend camping trip with the you know, big eight-man tents and the pots and pans and the cook stoves and all the stuff that you would normally bring on a 
weekend camping trip. I had planned to, as soon as we were ready to leave that weekend on a Sunday, I packed up the family car and I got them on the way and then I jumped on the bike and took off from there. But what happened was at 2 a.m., all of a sudden it started raining and there were storms. There was a thunderstorm, lightning storm that passed overhead. Things got a little bit wet and I didn't really sleep very well for the rest of the morning, but that's just the way it goes. This dog was following me along this fence line and I did not expect it to jump over the fence. And in fact, I just got lucky timing that perfectly with the camera. What I did is I noticed him running along beside me and so I pulled out my camera so I could get that. And then all of a sudden, boom, he's in the road next to me. I'm like, oh, whoa. Uh, I'm very thankful that it was a friendly dog and there was no issues with that. I thought it was hilarious that he ended up stopping following me because he had to go to the bathroom and he never picked back up after that. I kind of increased my speed a little bit to distance him. I didn't want to you know, lead him astray or, or get him lost somewhere. Absolutely phenomenal views out in Idlewild. If you ever get the chance to go up there and camp or just explore for the day, highly, highly recommended. Unbelievable views. There was a ton of climbing on this trip, much more than I had anticipated. I believe I anticipated only about 6,000 feet overall for the entire two day trip. And what I ended up doing was 6,400 feet in the first day, which unfortunately caused issues later on. So right about this point, I had fully used up my first battery, which was not a good situation. So I was forced to put the second battery in much earlier than I had planned, and I didn't have a way to recharge those batteries without you know, having an electrical socket to actually plug into. And as it would happen, Indian Flats Campground in the Cleveland National Forest is a campground that has no water and no power. And this was the first time of me sleeping out underneath the stars with no bivy or anything like that, no tent. I started out on the ground for the first 45 minutes and then I just got too weirded out by how many ants were crawling around and the potential for spiders and scorpions and just who knows what was trying to snuggle up with me. So I actually moved up to the top of the picnic table and I didn't see any bugs after that. But it was definitely something I probably won't repeat. I actually have purchased a bivy since this video was taken because I don't want to get anywhere near the bugs. I'm just not into the creepy crawly bugs. That's not my thing. Square aura of don't touch. And we'll be fine. We can get through this. We'll see. Good night, guys. So day two started out, I was already 20% into my second battery, getting about 10 miles up to where I was gonna get my water at a gas station. I rolled in at 7 a.m. to the gas station and it didn't open until 8 a.m. so I was stuck for an hour waiting around. I knew that I wouldn't be able to safely enter the next segment of my trip without additional battery support. There was gonna be a 30 mile section of very remote wilderness that I was gonna go through. There was some significant climbing still left to do on 80% battery, on the flats with no resistance needed it was fine but as soon as you started hitting some of those ramps and some of those hills it was cutting and dropping it down into like 40 percent available battery and it just wasn't enough battery left to risk going into 30 miles of very remote unreachable wilderness and i didn't want to get myself into a situation where i would get in trouble and need help out in the middle of nowhere. So I, I made the decision to cut the ride short, actually, and I rode into Santa Isabel and just had a slice of pie, relaxed a little bit, and waited for my ride to come pick me up. Not the ending that I was looking for in this trip, even though I didn't quite make it as far as I had wanted to. I learned a lot about that e-bike and what I would do differently next time. All in all, a really great bikepacking trip. Really enjoyed myself. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.